Hi again, everybody. I Mika really stinks. Her face. She must have been hiding in some of the fir bushes out the back, the cedar ones. Because either that or she stuck her face in cat spray. You know how the male cats lift their tails spray? Oh, men. Anyway, um, <laughs> she's a little upset right now because somebody has decided to um, celebrate a little early with the firecrackers. So I'm rubbing her belly here for her. Um, I went out and I got the drops. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring them in the room with me to show you, but there are little drops you can buy at Walmart or wherever um, uh, in the pet food department, and it's little homeopathic drops to calm them. So I'm going to try it a little while later because it said not to, to feed, to give the drops to her an hour within feeding. So I just fed her. And I'll do it in an hour or so. I wanted to tell you, it's Brad Thunder, when he signed my last uh, vlog, about this. Uh, I was talking about Buddy and his fears, how they've gotten worse. Well, when we got Mika, I'm going to try and quickly say this story. When we got Mika, when she was seven months old, was in the um, Humane Society. And I wish I would have been able to talk to the man that brought her in to find out exactly what all her little fears and that were and uh, he brought her in just after our Canada Day celebrations in August and it would have been like a, a week or so later so we knew nothing about her fears we have a in the city where I live we have a beautiful walkway along the river and they have all our celebrations down there in the park and it's beautiful to walk all along there and see the boats and people fishing and just everything is such a beautiful walkway they've made and of course we took Mika down there um, for her little first walk along the river we, th we thought and it seemed as we got a little farther along the pathway Mika's tail went down her body language got very strange and she seemed to be getting a little nervous. As we got closer to where most of the people um, congregate, I'll let you down me because she hears her friend next door barking. Um, as we got closer to the part of the park where everyone congregates, she got very nervous. Then she was panting and then she was pulling. And I looked at my husband and I said, this dog's having a panic attack <laughs> because I I had suffered so many years with panic attacks and uh, we had to get her out of that park and it took me a long time for to get her to even want to walk along there and you gotta remember she was only seven months then it came to me the man brought her in after a celebration which is held down there at that park they have a great big fireworks display for Canada Day. And I bet you anything, he had taken little Mika down there and someone threw a firecracker or they suddenly started going off and this little puppy didn't know what the heck was going on. Thus, thus her fears began. And it's sad that they can't just look at us and say look I don't like being down here because when I was a little baby somebody scared me with a a firecracker so I believe that that's why probably the man took her to the Humane Society was he probably thought oh, Monica <laughs> he probably thought that she was cuckoo <laughs> when all it was was just a fear so over the four years that we've had her, I just made sure that I kept taking her for walks in that place. And now she's fine, unless there is a band playing down there or fireworks. I'll let you know how the drops go. Alrighty then, that's the story behind Mika. You think about your pets and their little fears and see if you can go way, way back and find out what the source of that fear really is works for humans too. 
talk to you soon. Bye.